this is the brush that I like. It's from Chris Christensen Systems, and it's the number 20. A great pin brush um, for taking out undercoat. It's perfect. Then this is my favorite Dremel in the whole world. It is um, a rechargeable. It has a light on the end of it. So it's really great for grooming black toenails and um, it holds the charge really long. Um, it's also really powerful and I really like the cordless because then you can move around the dog easily without having the cord get in the way. Okay, this little piece of equipment here is purchased from Home Depot in the garage um, organization area. And it's a Velcro strap that they use to um, strap up rakes or something in your garage. And um, because it's Velcro, it's covered in dog hair, but also um, it's kind of rough on the tummies. So then I purchased these little things. They're called seat belt covers made of fleece, also Velcroed, just Velcroed around the other Velcro. And um, you can purchase these for very cheaply off of Etsy. And this holds up the back end of the dog. And this goes against their tummy right here. And then this noose holds up the front end of the dog. So they're strapped from both sides. Safer. This pumice stone, you can just buy any kind of pumice stone at a feed store. Um, they might be a little bit bigger than this, and then you cut it to the size you want. But you'll see that it wears down to the shape of your hand. See how it's curved right there? And um, it's really light. It's easy to hold in your hand. So if you have um, any kind of hand issues, probably your pumice stone is the best bet for um, using a tool with grooming. And then these other scissors, they're just serrated scissors. I buy them at Sally Beauty. They're super inexpensive and um, if they get dull or or they break in any way, I just toss them out and buy new ones. They're um, really cheap and easy to use. This tool is called a Mars Coat King. Um, and it has 16 blades, That's these are the number of blades, and that's what you would use for a Cairn Terrier. Um, I would recommend it for people with pet dogs, that you just rake it as if you're combing them, and um, it does take out undercoat, um, but it does cut the coat, so beware of that. I mean, these these are blades, they're sharp, and um, it does cut the coat out, so you don't want to be, um, really enthusiastic about you about taking out too much coat you know you could use, use it sparingly on your pet dog and I like to have a straight comb um, this is wider on one side and um, closer together on the other and it's a pretty inexpensive comb um, and it's about the times are about an inch long maybe an inch and a quarter and then I like to also have a non-slip mat. This is just a bath mat that you get um, in any store in the bathroom section. It's just one of those with the suction cups on the back for non-slip. And because the grooming table is black, I like to have this light colored non-slip mat so I can see the dog's feet. These are the stripping knives that I use. Now, anything that can be done with a stripping knife can actually be done with your fingers. I do choose to use um, knives or other tools like the pumice stone just to save on my hands because when you're working on multiple dogs, um, it, it is hard on your hands. So this one right here, this purple one, is a Hopner stripping knife and um, it's it's pretty wide. It's comfortable for me to hold in my hand, but I do have big hands, so that's something to watch for. It's also a coarse edge. It has um, space here between the teeth. And this one right here is a McKellen stripping knife, and it's also the coarse, and this is its mate. The um, red one is a fine McClellan stripping knife, and these are relatively inexpensive. Um, this one is the Greyhound, and it has like sandpaper on the edge here, and so I use it as um, as a fine one um, for doing their faces and their legs. This one is also it doesn't have a name on it. I just picked it up at a dog show, but it's also a fine. You can see it doesn't 
have a lot of space between those teeth there and um, it's pretty comfortable to hold in the hand it has a it's wide right here so it doesn't um, make a callus or cut against your finger and so those are my knives that I use these can all be found online with a Google search and then these are the straight scissors that I use for their paws to trim around their paws and um, they're just the Oster brand um, they too I believe they were bought at Sally Beauty they're pretty small there it's about a two and a half inch blade right there and um, they're lightweight and um, easy to use sharp and inexpensive <laughs>